Hey guys, Andy here. Um, I thought I would do a short video just to show you the functionality of the Image Viewer tool rather than trying to um, find a time for us all to be conveniently put together. So I'm just going to run through how the tool works using a user I set up earlier, very Blue Peter-esque. Um, so I'm just going to log in as I'm normally into Fusion, as you would be. Um, you can see there's a new, new icon here for the Image Viewer tool, which I'm going to click through to now. Like we discussed um, earlier, all the all the functionalities here, so we can search from catalog code, um, manufacturer part number. We're looking into the idea of um, page number at the moment. It's proving to be quite a quite a complicated process. Um, and then also the search from to search to um, option on the uh, product codes, and then obviously there's fields here, so you can filter which results you get. I'm going to search for any product, and I'm going to use my favourite code. The only code I'm learning to know from TrueLine. Um, I'm not going to run any dates, but though that functionality does exist. Um, and I'm going to show the log so I can see what changes have been made. So I'm going to filter those products now. So straight away we've gone to the first product code, which is this product here. Um, you can see earlier today I've actually rated this product as undefined. That's because I just skipped past it earlier when testing. Um, but now, as we know, we've got the option to stick the current catalog and and choose an image for uh, choose a rating for that image, or I can choose the master catalog if I want to, which is obviously because it's a banner product the same. Um, likewise, I can um, if, if there was actually a uh, a product from Val here, it's forced to to Val. You can put the functionality in there for, for the future, but at the moment you can only use the Val um, image as a comparison. So I could choose it there. Now in this case, I'm happy that this image is the right image, um, and it's a good image for what I want it to be. So I'm going to select right image good, and it's automatically cycled to the next product code, which is just one later, which looks to be the same product. But then that's why I don't work in Office Plus because I don't get these things. Um, and again, another good image in this situation here. So I'm going to skip by. Um, you can see actually earlier where I've been testing as well that I've also rated this one previously a good image, which is good. Um, so again, I'm going to do the same thing again there, um, and again with this image. Now, if I wanted to do some more filtering here, let's say I've gone away to lunch or I've passed this job on to somebody else, and I, I can still give them the same range of um, product codes, but they only want to work on the ones that haven't been rated, so I'm just going to filter there. You can see straight away I'm starting at uh, 005 as the SKU, um, so it's taken out the first four that I've already rated, but likewise if I want to look back at any filter and I've gone back to the first one there so you can see that I've rated it previously like we saw before as a uh, undefined which is where I've skipped it and then a good image like I did just a second ago um, and that's pretty cool and then obviously I can also just filter for the ones that have got good images and all the filters in there so the tool's working I think it's really good um, good job Steve it's pretty much come from your drawing so I'm pleased with that um, and likewise we can go in and um, other functionality like view the fusion record so if for any reason you're not happy with something you see here or you want to take a close look at the Fusion record, you're using your login credentials to go straight into this record so you can edit the details like we've all seen you can. So I'm pretty happy with what we've got there. Um, I'm, there may be some minor things you want to add or anything like that, but we feel now it's at a stage where we can use it, or you guys can use it. So um, let's get the ball rolling. Okay, thanks very much, guys. Cheers.